you will succeed. You will be able to get back in shape and regain your fitness, even if you're starting at the age of 60. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I'm going to give you six mistakes men over 60 make when working out. And when I was thinking about these, I kind of had to narrow it down. I mean, it could have been a lot more than six, but you guys would have fallen asleep during, during this video. So I'm going to give you six, you know, what I think are very common mistakes that I see people make on a regular basis. And guys, it's, it's not just stuff that I see, it's stuff that I read about. Okay, that's what really concerns me is, you know, we have a fantastic Facebook group that I'm, I'm going to talk about. You guys need to click the link below and join the group. It's fantastic. It's free. But, you know, I'm the administrator. I'm in there every day. And so I'm reading all these posts from men all around the world. And some of this stuff kind of, you know, makes me a little worried about some of these guys that are, you know, just kind of getting back into working out. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm afraid they're going to do, you know, all these common mistakes. And so I try to help, you know, with suggestions, but I can't, you know, be too, you know, over the top when I'm giving responses in my Facebook group. So six mistakes. But first, remember that Facebook group is fantastic. And there's a link right below this video. And then secondly, guys, do us a favor. We're trying to spread the word about this channel. So give us a like, subscribe to it, and then forward this, you know, to one of your buddies, you know, share it because all those things will help expand our channel. Those are things that YouTube actually looks at when it makes recommendations. So really appreciate it if you give us a little thumbs up. Okay, so let's jump into the first mistake, and that is guys getting back into workout. You're all fired up and dedicated. You're going to turn your life around, and you start working out just like you did back in your 20s and your 30s. <laughs> all right, big mistake, guys. Um, Part of that mistake is that a lot of those guys that do that try to create their own workout program, all right? They get on YouTube, they start looking at what different people are saying on different Facebook, you know, pages, and they kind of figure that they can put their own program together. Well, please, guys, don't do that. Uh, I know this is a plug for myself and our channel and our company, but my Fit After 50 program is designed specifically for older guys, all right? And I'm not just a certified personal trainer, all right, which gives me a little bit of credibility, hopefully, when it comes to putting workout programs together. But, but guys, I'm 60. I've been doing this for 40 years. And so I've seen all these mistakes and, and, and talked to tons of guys, and I've read stories, and anyway. So follow a professional program that was designed for guys our age, uh, Gary Walker's got some, some great workout programs also, especially if you guys want to work out in a gym. He's got some great gym-based workouts. Mine are, are more geared towards working out at home. But don't just start back up, all right? Creating your own workout plan and hitting it like you did when you were 28 years old. Now, the second mistake isn't so much of a mistake as, as, as a mental thing, and that is a lot of guys just expect to see results extremely fast and they expect to see just huge results too okay so the speed of the results and the size of the results a lot of times are just way out of proportion there's just no way you're going to be able to do that um, so basically you you just need to understand that it's going to take longer especially because we're older and guess what when we're older our t levels are lower even if you're doing a great job of keeping your testosterone levels as high as you possibly can for your genetics and your age, there's, your T levels are still lower than they were when you were in your 20s and your 30s. So it's just going to take longer to see results. And seeing those results is not just losing fat, but it's building muscle. So it's, it's both. both. Both of those things happen slower when you're over 60 than when you were younger. All right, the third one, guys, is just using bad form, okay? Um, sometimes it's because people are ego lifting, all right? So they're lifting more weight than they can or should because there's other people around potentially watching them, 
all right? And so, you know, you might feel embarrassed to pick up some 10-pound dumbbells when the guys next to you are using 80-pound dumbbells, all right? So instead of picking up the 10s, which you might need to use for whatever exercise, you know, you pick up some 30s, triple what you should be doing, and you end up just using bad form. You know, you sway, you use momentum, um, you don't go through the full range of motion, you go too fast, you don't get that mind-muscle connection, and guess what, you know, it's you're not going to get nearly as good of results using heavyweight and bad form as you would using lightweight and really good form. It, it's amazing the difference. And matter of fact, guys, once you get to the professional level, these gigantic guys, you know, uh, they will lift heavy weight, but they don't lift as much weight as they actually could. So they actually lift less weight. They're not worried about the ego. They're huge already. They don't care what people you know, are, are looking at them. And so they use a lighter weight and they just really get that mind muscle. They focus on the muscle as they're contracting it. A lot of times they'll close their eyes and go really slow. So form is key guys and good form will also lower your chances of injury. Mistake number four. It's not about working out so much as it's about not focusing on your nutrition. All right, so the reason why you're getting back into working out is because you wanna lose fat and put on muscle. Well, guess what? Abs are made in the kitchen, all right? So are muscles. <laughs> so your nutrition is unbelievably important, all right? A lot of trainers, a lot of kind of you know fitness experts like myself We'll give you percentages, a lot, and a lot of guys will say your nutrition is probably 70%, 75% of the total of what it takes to get in shape. The remainder being your workout, your exercises. So that's how important nutrition is, guys. So you guys need to figure out how to eat healthy and what to avoid. And this video is not about that. But use the search feature right here on our YouTube channel and just type in nutrition. And Gary and I have got tons of phenomenal videos for you guys where we go into great detail about what to eat and what to avoid. All right, number five is you don't prioritize recovery times. And that kind of leads back to guys that are trying to, you know, create their own workout programs. Uh, I see people in my Facebook group asking, you know, is it okay if I, you know, work out five times a week or six times, or should I only work out three times a week? Well, the answer is really complicated, all right? So that's why you don't need to create your own workout programs, all right? You need to know how long you need to rest between workouts, but not all workouts are the same. So my Fit After 50 program has you working out five days a week. So if you don't think about it deep enough, if you don't know how I designed it, then you'll think, well, Mark isn't giving us enough recovery time, right? Well, wrong. Each of my phases is designed differently, all right? So in certain phases, I don't have you hit the muscles very hard. You don't do real high volume, all right? And then because of that, you're able to do that workout again two days later. That's enough recovery time because it wasn't a killer workout. But in later phases, I have you hitting weights really hard, all right? Lots of volume, lots of intensity. You're breaking down those muscle fibers a lot more that way, which means it takes longer to recover. And I won't have you do that muscle group again two days later. It might be the next week, all right? So you have to prioritize your recovery. And of course, getting plenty of sleep is part of that recovery process. All right, now number six is something that most of you guys would never think about. And that is, you don't take progress pictures. Guys, oh my God. I tell everybody, all the new members who join my Facebook book group, to take progress pictures. You'll thank me later. You don't have to post them. You don't have to show them to anybody. Just take them and keep them for yourself. Store them on your computer, whatever. Because guys, you will forget how far you've come. You know, the changes happen so slowly. You see yourself every day in the mirror and you don't look any different than yesterday. But guess what? If you took a progress picture from four weeks ago and look at your picture today, 
you'll go, oh my gosh, wow, I really have made progress. So a lot of guys just look at the scale and read the numbers. Okay, I've lost seven pounds. I've lost 14 pounds. You know, it's just a number and it doesn't sound very impressive. All right. What's the most important thing? The mirror. Okay. So that's why I say take progress pictures. And I shot a really good YouTube video on this channel. So type in progress pictures in that little search uh, bar and it, in my video will come up and I talk about how to take them and why it's important. So guys, man, jumping back in and starting over is really kind of fun and exciting. You're, you're a total newbie. And that's why I really want you to take pictures, especially day one. All right, so six mistakes, guys, and they're not very hard to avoid, all right? You know, all the things and suggestions I made are pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, all right? And the thing is, you will succeed. You will be able to get back in shape and regain your fitness, even if you're starting at the age of 60, but you have to stick with it and never give up on yourself.